Can we save one hour every single week by approaching our meetings differently with the help of Microsoft 365 Copilot? Because I truly believe that we can. Because today I'm going to be showing you a new set of tips and tricks that if you employ with your meetings, you'll be able to save at least one hour every week. Whether that comes from some brand new capabilities that have just been released in Copilot, so capabilities that already exist, but you may not be using today. If we bring all of these together, I believe there's a massive time saving to be achieved. And before we head in, if you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button so you can take advantage of tutorials just like this, which are designed to get you to use the tools you already have every single day in much better ways. So now let's head into Teams and use Copilot to save your all important time. So let's start by scheduling a meeting inside of the new Outlook. I've scheduled it with Megan, one of my colleagues, and there's a new button inside of the new Outlook to draft an agenda with the help of Copilot. By selecting that button, you'll find an agenda that's not generic. Now it uses your information inside of your Teams meetings, chats, and files to now come up with a custom agenda aligning to the subject of the meeting itself. We can see that here by hovering over the references, we see where that information has been derived from. If we're happy, we can go ahead and select keep it. And that agenda can maybe be shared with colleagues or even third parties without having a Copilot license. Let's go ahead, click send and send out our meeting. When our meeting then starts, let's now enable transcription and facilitator so we can take digital meeting notes We'll cross our own meeting. Select the free dot more menu and then head on to turn on facilitator. This now allows us to choose a language everyone is speaking. I'll set mine to the UK. We'll then see the meeting notes pane open on the right. Let's also ensure we take a transcript so we can use that later with Copilot. To do that, we'll go to the same menu. Now select record and transcribe and click start transcription. This now ensures that a transcription of the meeting is taken alongside facilitator also completing our meeting minutes. Then during our meeting, we can then see a transcription and selecting notes in our Teams meeting, we can now see on the right hand side an area for our loop powered meeting notes, but Copilot now begins to write them up for us. Yes, it happens automatically throughout your meetings and even now populates follow-up tasks that you've also discussed in the meeting. That now means that you can also add in your own meeting notes. I've added one of these here for Scott to pick up with Nestor around project financials. And even though we add our own meeting notes, our co-pilot and facilitator agent still continue to write in all of our meeting notes. Finally, as a meeting comes to a close, we've seen all of our follow-up tasks shown at the bottom. We can go ahead and then end our meeting, ensuring our meeting notes are now captured. And a little later on, we now get a notification in Microsoft Teams letting me know that the meeting recap is now ready. This meeting recap is then shown in Microsoft Teams and is also available by clicking into the calendar invitation as well inside of Microsoft Teams. And within this, we can see an AI summary. This details all of the meeting notes and discussion points that me and Megan spoke about during our meeting, and even all of those follow-up tasks as well. This is very useful, but it's hard-coded plain text. And because we also use the facilitator agent, while under the notes section, we can now see that our Microsoft Loop powered meeting notes have been also created by facilitator. It includes three key points on the meeting notes, but importantly, all of these follow-up tasks have been included. These can now be powered by Microsoft Planner, mean I can left-click into them, and I can assign this work to my team members, and they'll also be notified via Microsoft Planner that a task has been assigned to them, and have it appear on their digital dashboard inside of the Planner app. So we can immediately see the value of also using Facilitator as well as the transcription to give you an AI summary and structured meeting notes and the tasks that are allocated straight into Microsoft Planner. 
But what more can we now do with our meeting notes? Well, how about sharing them into our Microsoft team where all of our project team reside so they can also see what we spoke about during our financial review meeting if they couldn't also attend. We can do that by simply going over and selecting copy components. With this now copied, I'll head over to Microsoft Teams and I'll go down to our financial channel inside of our project. Select posting channel and then go ahead and paste it into the message. You'll now see that Microsoft Teams is aware this is now a loop component. Now it means it can be embedded into the Microsoft team and others will be able to interact and add meeting notes or even additional follow-up tasks. Let's now go ahead, add a subject line and a little detail to post it into our Teams channel. And with that post now submitted into Microsoft Teams, we can see the personal message as well as the embedded meeting notes that me and the team can also work with. So let's take a quick pause and consider your ambition with Copilot. I believe the biggest driver for Copilot for many is exactly what we're showing today, automating your meeting notes and staying on top of all of your work. But it can do so much more. And that's where we at Your365 Coach can come in and help you, your team and business get the most from Copilot, showing you different ways it can work inside of the office apps that you use every day and even build agents to automate so much more of your work. If you want to find out more about our services or even our comprehensive academy you can access 24-7, why not check out our website link below and get in touch and find out how you can realize your ambition with Copilot and Microsoft 365 with me and the team at your side. So now you know where to go to also get the most from Copilot. Let's head back in and continue to find out how we can optimize your next meeting. And I know that many of you use Microsoft OneNote and you'd love to be able to take those meeting notes and bring them into your OneNote notebook. But how do we do that? Well, inside of OneNote, we can go over and select the meeting details button from the home ribbon bar. In here, select your meeting and now we can bring in those meeting details. But importantly, we can also expand the AI powered meeting summary and also the suggested tasks and the loop collaborative notes and bring everything into your OneNote page. Yes, there is no need to copy and paste this content. You can embed it straight into your OneNote and it even includes the people who join your meeting, which of course you'll also want to track. So you can take your meeting notes, the transcripts and the loop powered meeting notes straight in to your OneNote notebook. But you may be wondering, how can you also share your meeting notes externally? Because sharing them from OneNote and also Microsoft Loop to external parties just doesn't work very well. But how about we use the integration in Microsoft Word with Copilot to generate us a professional set of meeting minutes? I've now added that into our prompt box at the top of our Word dialog with Copilot, selecting the forward slash key and inputting a word from the subject of the meeting itself, we'll then go ahead and select meetings. Select our financial review meeting and now send this into Copilot. Copilot inside of Word now extracts the meeting transcript and will now begin to draft us a professional set of meeting minutes that we can also make changes to or just extract to a PDF and share with our peers. If I'm happy with this content, which is all correct, I'll go ahead and select keep it. And as simple as that, we can now print these notes, save them as a PDF or a document and share them via email. Yes, the people who receive these meeting notes won't need a Copilot license because this is just Microsoft Word content. But that's a fantastic way to share your meeting notes powered by Copilot with external parties who just need it inside of Word. Now, as with any meeting, we also need to get our actions done. And here's one such task that I've been given. I need to outline the reasons why Project Green Space is overrunning in its budget. Well, that information is contained across all my emails, Teams chats, meetings, and documents. I can now have Copilot chat help us out to actually get this task completed and share the information with Megan in a dynamic way. Let's head over to Copilot chat on the web. And from my work tab, I'll now ask Copilot to prepare information on reasons for the Project Green Space budget overrun. 
Now you'll see here that I mentioned it's based on this meeting. What I should now do in Copilot is again click on the forward slash key, select meetings, and now go ahead and search for the financial review meeting. This now means that we'll be able to use that information within this prompt itself. And I could also add support information like documents or Excel spreadsheets, which further went in to why we're overspending. But instead, I've just given Copilot the broad idea on what it should be using to bring back being emails, Teams chat, meetings, and documents. Let's now go ahead and send this over to Copilot. And Copilot's now came back with an answer for us. It identifies an executive summary of the overspend that we discussed in the meeting, the available budget, and also possible areas that could be impacting the budget at this early stage, and further details them a little later on, with contractor package costs trending above early estimates, procurement and tendering still being finalised, uncertainty over supplier lead times, and plenty of overdue invoices. So we can see here a number of actions that we can also do to try and improve the way we're running the budget on the project. Now all this is very useful, but do I now need to go and send this in a different way to provide this information to Megan? Well, no, with new capability in Copilot chat, we can go ahead and select this button to start a group chat in Teams. By left clicking, I'll now go ahead and type in Megan's name. And I can also select the amount of messages that can be seen by Megan in that group chat. And the group chat has now been created by Copilot. And we actually see here immediately on the screen, the response from Copilot chat is visible, but also this has been sent directly to Megan. We can now begin to have a conversation about potentially any area of this response from Copilot, but it now means I don't have to recreate the content and I can tick off that item in my task list. But staying on top of all of your tasks is no easy feat. That means that we can now use Copilot chat to help us out with that as well. You'll see here in Copilot chat using the work tab, I'm asking Copilot to identify all of my tasks from meetings that have been created in the last month and organizing them by priority and including a summary of each task to be completed. Giving this to Copilot will give us a one and done answer, which can be helpful, but what if we could also schedule this so it runs every single week? And Copilot's now came back with our answer. It took 42 seconds, but it's outlined all of those different tasks that have been captured across my different Teams meetings. The more meetings I have where transcript is enabled, well, the more tasks we can be able to track with Copilot. But ensuring that we can use this again and again is a key point. Running this every single week, we well, you'll often forget. So let's go ahead and highlight my prompt and select the schedule this prompt button. We can now go ahead and ensure that this runs every single week so I can keep on top of all of my open tasks. To achieve that, I'll go ahead and just uncheck the days where I don't want this to run. I want it to run every Friday at 10 a.m. and it'll run for 15 times. And also send me an email when the response is ready so I can review it quickly inside of Copilot. Clicking save now adds this as a scheduled prompt ensuring any tasks I get from my meetings, I can certainly stay on top of. So there you go. We've now found ways to approach our next Teams meeting with confidence when it comes to using Copilot as well. We know now that we can have Copilot and Facilitator track our meeting conversations and minutes and post the meeting. Take that straight into Word and OneNote or into Teams and Channels and share them with your colleagues in minutes rather than hours. But the importance goes beyond sharing. It also means how do we stay on top of all of our tasks? Well, we did that through Copilot chat, even scheduling reminders every week to ensure that we don't miss those important tasks too. So hopefully you'll find value in all of these tips and also be able to save your all important time to focus on the more important things in life. But of course, I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think about these features in Teams and Copilot? What else could we share that could also help you on your journey? Because I'd love to know in the comments. And of course, if this video has helped, hit the like button to let me know. And if you haven't already, the subscribe button so you can find tutorials just like this every week that are designed to help you get more from the tools you already have. And other than that, 
I look forward to seeing you on the next one.